Part 3, Appendix of George Orwell's 1984, delves deeply into the construction and implications of the novel's fictional language, Newspeak. This language serves as a pivotal tool for the totalitarian regime in Oceania, illustrating the mechanism through which the party seeks to control not just the actions, but the very thoughts of its subjects. The appendix meticulously outlines Newspeak's vocabulary, which is divided into three distinct categories, the A vocabulary, B vocabulary, and C vocabulary. The A vocabulary encapsulates everyday life terms, simplified to remove any nuance or ability to express shades of meaning or subtlety. This simplification is aimed at reducing the complexity of thoughts and constricting the range of expression available to the populace. The B vocabulary, on the other hand, comprises words deliberately constructed for political purposes, serving as tools of orthodoxy and ideological conformity. These words, often compounds like good think, are designed to encapsulate complex party doctrines in a single, unambiguous term, further streamlining thought and discouraging critical analysis or dissent. The C vocabulary is devoted to technical and scientific terms, applying the same principles of linguistic simplification and control to the realms of science and industry. Despite its focus on specialized domains, the C vocabulary adheres to the grammatical rules governing the A and B vocabularies, ensuring a uniformity across all facets of language. The overarching goal of Newspeak, as elaborated in the appendix, is to limit the scope of thought by manipulating language. Unlike natural languages, which evolve to expand and enrich communication, Newspeak is engineered to contract and simplify. By methodically excising words and concepts from the language, the party aims to make certain ideas, in particular, those related to rebellion, individuality, and freedom, inconceivable. Orwell posits through Newspeak that if there are no words to express an idea, the idea itself cannot be thought, effectively neutering dissent at its most fundamental level. This exploration into Newspeak is not merely a linguistic exercise, but a profound commentary on the relationship between language, thought, and power. Through this appendix, Orwell elucidates how totalitarian regimes strive to establish a monopoly over reality itself, dictating not just what individuals can do or say, but what they can think. Newspeak epitomizes the mechanism of this control, showcasing how language can be weaponized to restrict freedom and enforce conformity. Orwell's analysis in the appendix extends beyond the fictional realm of 1984, offering a critical reflection on the deteriorating state of language under totalitarian regimes in his time. Newspeak serves as a cautionary concept, embodying Orwell's fears regarding the erosion of free thought and expression under authoritarian rule. The appendix, therefore, is not just an explanatory text, but a critical extension of the novel's thematic concerns. Warning of the peril inherent in the manipulation of language and the chilling potential of Newspeak to stifle humanity's inherent capacity for independent thought and freedom. This has been another Bookly Crash Course. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like and a comment to help out the Bookly Crash Course channel.